quick video on how to clean wire wheels that have some rust on them. Um, I've got the other three done, but I still have a lot to do on this. Each wheel takes about two hours to do. I'm not going to go through the whole process, but as you can see, there's rust and there's also rust on the spokes. All right. So it's a it's an easy process, but it takes a long time. All right. First thing you got to do is you have to clean the wheels, obviously. All right. Um, any any good brand of work. I just happen to like this brand. Clean the wheels, get all the grease and everything off them. Once you've got all the grease off them, then it's time to start getting the rust off. The easiest way to get the rust off of the spokes is <clears throat> go down to Burger King, McDonald's, get yourself some Diet Coke and keep the glass because it fits right in there. Next thing you're going to use is tin foil. So let me find a nice rusty spoke. All right, this one here, if you can, if you can see it, uh, it's got rust all over it. So you take your tin foil, soaked in the Coca-Cola, and just go over the spoke. Okay. Now this is the easy part, getting it off the spokes. All right, so if you look, the spokes are nice and shiny now. The rust is gone. All right, here's here's a little over here, out down that end. Okay, rub it, and the rust magically disappears. So <clears throat> that's the general idea for the spokes. I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing, but I'll. I'll next do these parts. Now this this is the difficult stuff, but there's a trick to it. So let me show you that. First, let me stop the camera to get ready for it. All right. Next, I'm going to get in between all the spokes. Um, the secret are these little buffing pads. Came off of Amazon. Twelve pieces. Uh, I'm not sure what they cost. Uh, maybe four bucks or something for the pack of them. And it takes two to three to do each wheel. So 12, you'll have plenty to do. All right, the next thing is uh, this Moxon, Noxon, uh metal polish. It takes rust off as well as shines things up. So it really does a good job. Also, when you're cleaning it, uh, good old electric toothbrush. Really makes it easy to get in there. Now that won't work for the rust, but that does work when you're cleaning it initially. It'll get right in there and save your knuckles a lot of work. So what you want to do is, uh, this, <clears throat> this pad seems to be okay. Always make sure that the pad is, is uh, well soaked with this stuff because you don't want to ruin the wheels by scratching them all up. And if you don't have any abrasion on there, uh, abrasive on there, then you, you can scratch them up. So let me just show you. Let me just show you uh, a couple spots and show you how easy it is. So don't turn it real fast because it'll throw everything off. As you can see, rust is coming off. So just keep doing it. Once you're done with this, and it's going to take a while, but once you're done with this, then you have to clean them again. 
and it, uh, just spray it spray it with your wash and start all over again if you missed it go back do it again so let me wait this off and I'll just give you a quick look at it Once, it, once you wash it the second time, then you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to buff it again uh, because you're not going to be able to get all that, all the stuff out. But as you, as you can see, a lot of it's come out already. All right? And this is only the first, the first go around with it. So, all right. Okay, here it is after the first cleaning. Uh, as you can see, most of the rust is gone. There's still a little left, but again, this is only the first cleaning, and uh, the second cleaning should make 99% of the rust off of it and shine it up. Uh, if you have a pressure washer, it's much better than trying to do it with a garden hose, uh, because what happens is the metal polish dries, especially in between the spokes. It dries, and it's very difficult to get out of garden if you have a pressure washer, that's the way to go with it. Uh, it'll certainly make the job a lot easier. But anyhow, uh, started rusty and now it's almost, uh, almost rust free.